Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. Uh, back at the mine again today, I think I'm going to kind of start a project where I take a sample from each different part of the park. So what I'm going to do is, today I'm going to start, uh, the east drain is right over here behind me. Um, so this isn't really technically east drain, this is kind of halfway between the east drain and the south wash pavilion, which is directly that way. So, uh, got a little bit of gravel built up here. Um, nobody, it doesn't look like anybody's really hit it yet. So I'm going to uh, just go ahead and start bucketing this up. I'm going to set up a wash station right here. Um, there's a little pond of water, a little hole somebody dug that's filled with water. So I got water real close. I can just bucket it right here. And uh, I'm going to try and get through 20 buckets today. And um, I'm thinking that uh, throughout the spring, I'm just going to do 20 bucket samples from different places and see if I find a diamond anywhere. And uh, I can kind of make a series for you guys to watch and see what it produces. So uh, stick with me. All right, so uh, to give you guys kind of an idea of what I'm uh, going after here, you see that little shade pavilion kind of for reference of where I'm at. But uh, you can see there's some little wash areas that have kind of got started through here. As I walked around looking for gravel, sometimes when you look at this, you notice that there's some if you look right there, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a lot of calcite in that. There is some quartz and calcite built up in that right there. So you'll see pockets of that here and there. Some more of it right there. It's kind of mixed in with that. So that tells me that there is some heavies building up in some of these spots where I'm pulling gravel from. That's normally a good sign. Another thing, you know, for Personally, the way I do this with setting up my own wash station is I look for places where there is enough gravel to keep me busy for a day because I don't want to have to take the, town, take the time to break down everything and set back up. So between that little stream right there and then this little wash right here, this should be enough to keep me busy until the park closes this evening. You can see this has got a pretty good little bit of gravel built up. I actually... Uh, found a small diamond here last year but this is material that's been hauled in they actually filled this in when they uh, did the deep ripping project so this whole swath of material was brought from the south end so don't know for sure what's in it but I'm going to find out today All right, so I've got uh, three buckets of material in there, and there's everything else I'm going to run. Pretty well cleaned out my uh, cleaned out my little wash through there. Cleaned out that pretty good. Cleaned about all that out of there. I might have missed a little bit, but so it's time to start washing. Pretty good center. Alright, so you can see quite a bit of quartz and calcite in there. I can see a little bit of spinel, so that's not too bad of a center. So I think I've got uh, some decent material. So, uh, better get busy and bust them buckets out. Finally got one nice little garnet right there. That's a good sign. Like seeing garnets. Still haven't found a big 17 carat diamond or anything. So uh, keep on washing.
Still got some pretty good centers. I found uh, about three or four garnets. So wherever this material was brought in from wasn't too bad. Alright, so this is the last screen. This is the bottom of the tote, the wet breakdown tote. So, uh, out of 20 buckets, the centers weren't real big. If you can see that, I've got just a little over a half a bucket of concentrate. So, that'll give me something to go through. I'll probably concentrate it one more time at home. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for a little bit better center than that from the bottom of the tote, you know, because when I stir it around, a lot of the heavies are going to sink down, so, um, but, I mean, it's still a center. Still could have a diamond in it, but I just can't see. Found a few pieces of garnet, a few pieces of chromium diopside. There's been some spinel in it, so, it's uh, a little bit after three, so I probably better hurry and get packed up. All right, calling it a day. I've got everything packed up, fix and go lock it in the storage pen. Uh, I've got my uh, centers to carry out. Uh, got a little over a half of a five gallon bucket, so that's not too bad. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and take it, probably concentrate it one more time, and then size it by eighth inch and go through it on my sorting tray. Um, so that'll be the first of the 20 buckets uh, from each area that I do. And in the next video, I'll let you know if I found anything here. So uh, thanks for watching my video. If you would, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.